Hey, hello everybody, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Scarlet Burblock. How are we all doing today? Uh, let me just remind you that next week, because at this time right now, I will have been live for a while for my birthday stream, and we're going to be playing The Legend of Zelda uh, Tears of the Kingdom. So if you're interested in that, make sure you drop by. And of course, now we need to do a quick team recap. So first up, uh, oh right, I have some nicknames to change first. So let's go through these um, Pokemon and see what kind of nicknames I need to make it. Okay, where are my nicknames? There we go. Uh, for Flamigo, it was requested that we change their name to Senorita. Mm. Yeah. So first up, we got Senorita the Flamigo. Wing attack, copycat, double kick, detect. Next up, we've got Quemby the Wingle. Growl, water gun, quick attack, supersonic. Then we've got Ducky the Psyduck. Scratch tail, whip, water gun, confusion. Uh, we got a request to change Fabiosa's nickname. To Samba. So then we've got Samba the Coaxley holding the Orenberry. Pound, wing attack, water gun, aqua jet. Uh, and then we have Tinder Wings the Fletchling. Growl Peck, quick attack at Ember. And. We've got Cheerleader the Oricorio. Pound Growl and Peck has the dancer ability. All right. So yeah, we are here now to explore the town before we go up. Because there's certain things that I am currently uh, keeping my eye out for, of which it's this location. Deli Bird Presence. Uh -uh. Uh, I want a charcoal. I want one mystic water. I want one sharp beak. Okay. Now there's a second deli bird presence that we want. Though before I do that, let's go ahead and grab the um, quick teleport. I don't know if it's actually active right now or not, but we're gonna go ahead and grab it. We're gonna wanna explore it around this area later after we do like actual story stuff because we'll be able to move faster. But I mean, I'm already on my way over here. Right, now, let's actually put these items on our Pokemon too. Water. We're gonna give to you. A sharp beak. We're gonna give to Wingle and Charcoal. Tinderwing. Actually, I don't think it matters right now. It'll be much easier later, so whatever. Just turn around and walk. So 
So in case you didn't know, there are two Delibird presents in this uh, location. And I didn't know about the one we first went to. I actually discovered this one by mistake. literally have the exact same items. Thought there was something in here that was different. Whatever. Was it the Soothe Bell? No Yeet Balls, so don't care. Alright, let's get out of here. Got everything we want. Have a Deli Best Day! Anyway, we're gonna go get ourselves some custom items, which if you didn't know, if you have saved data from any of the Switch games, you can get special phone cases as soon as you arrive here in Mesa Goza City. So just have a save file. It doesn't even have to be a beaten save file. Talk to this lady. She does rotometry. It's Kanto. For the Let's Go games. And so she makes us a special case. And next, we're gonna see Galar. Kinds of Galar facing down enormous challenges with Dynamax Pokemon. I. Of course, next we have, and that's right, Sinnoh! <laughs> Digging beneath the surface in contests. And then the last one is Hisui. All right, and she has uh, any more. That's all of it. So now you can, of course, change your phone case to be the Arc phone, the Ball Guy case, Poketech, or Peekaby. I'm gonna go for Peekaby. Oops. Fuck. There we go. Now whenever we pull out our phone, we'll have the Pika V background. Alright, who do we want to be our leader for this? I don't really know what Pokemon they have, or I don't remember, so... Let's go with Samba. Team Star. Don't you get it? If you join Team Star, you can shine as bright as anybody. Seriously, what's with you? Don't you want to burn bright with awesome friends like us? Not really. Look, we've got a quota we're supposed to fill for new members, so just sign up already. Um, I'd rather not. Huh? You went out on this too? If you're here to sign up, we'll get to you next. We've nearly got this one in the bag. We're Team Star Kid. We burn so bright it hurts to look at us. Well, you knew that, right? No. Uh, another ignorant little nobody. Here, I'm finally part of Team Star, and I still get no respect. Gotta work my way up the ranks. Hey, we can't just let something like this slide. The honor of our team's on the line, so we've got no real choice but to battle, yeah? That's true. You keep watch on that little four eyes over there. I'll make sure this fresh face nobody ends up seeing stars. Mm, 
down, put the down, put the down, now, now, shrewdle! The little noodle! Everything's just such a bop! How come I'm the one seeking star? Because you're bad. Ugh. Why isn't nobody like you so good at battling anyway? That's just not right. No way, she beat you! I mean, I gotta battle this kid now since I'm higher up in Team Star's rankings? Pero bueno! What do you think you're doing? Ugh, it's that student council dweeb. She's gonna report us if we don't book it! Can't believe you, pro. You don't have to go find randos to battle. You'll have all the battles you'll ever need with me. That's not really what happened. Wait, they picked a fight with you? Wow, I read that way wrong. Sorry. I get it now. You two have got Team Star written all over you for sure. But you're trying to pressure people into signing up again, weren't you? Uh, hi. We were not doing that. Oh, well, that explains it. Said the student council subbing this type of nonsense would normally be my job. This is also the perfect chance for you to try my amazing and ultra rare gift for you. Terra Orb. <clears throat> With this Terra Orb, you can terrestrialize your Pokemon during battle. So you have to terrestrialize. I'm pretty sure your Quaxi will be a water type. Normally, you gotta take special classes to be able to get one of these Terra Orbs, but I put in a good word for you. Now, time to give it a whirl. You'll learn faster in battle than if I just explained it to you. Wait, what? You want this kid to practice wailing on us with our Terra Pokemon? Is that it? Got a problem? You want to battle with me instead? Never mind, I'll take my chances with the new kid. <laughs> ba -na 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 -na. More stars! We'll terrestrialize for shits and gigs. Like, I love how we don't have any kind of reaction to us holding the Terra Ball. It's our first time ever doing it. And we're not phased at all, but everybody else who does it, they're just like, ugh. Your Pokemon burned so bright! <laughs> yeah, it did. The brightest. Nice, Crow, you pulled off terrestrializing, no problem. Moves of your Pokemon's Terra type will hit even harder when it's terrestrialized, you know? Sometimes you'll find a Pokemon whose Terra type is totally different from its usual type. That difference can open up your strategic options. Gotta charge your Terra Orb at a Poke Center after every use. Though. Uh, well, I'll be on my way then, yeah? Hasta la vista! So yeah. Team Star is basically a group of students that like to kick up trouble. They hardly show up to class, and when they get together in groups, they're a real headache. Even the teachers don't know what to do with them, from what I hear. Um, excuse me. I, uh, I just... Thanks. Uh, see you around. Aw, oh, look at you, Crow, already becoming a big hero around campus. I don't think I've seen that girl around. Maybe she's a new transfer, like you. That Eevee bag, though. Love the fluff! Anyway, seems like the troubles died down, so we better book it up to school. Get ready to climb the worst staircase in history. Ah, it's not that bad. Mine's cuter.
Look at him. Little Samba. There we are, Crow. Welcome to Naranja Academy. This here is the entrance hall. Sign up for all kinds of classes that behind me and those halls off to the sides lead to different parts of the school. It's totally big enough to let loose and battle in here, but for some reason they banned Pokemon battling in the main entrance. Miss Crow, Miss Namona, how did you find your first school commute? We had a blast. I imagine Miss Simona's high spirits helped with that. She's a true asset to our fine academy. Not that I was expecting any less from our champion ranked student council president. Reliable as ever, Miss Simona. Well, I know how to look after my friends, right, Carl? Oh, but speaking of which, I saw some of those Team Star kids in town, Director. You did? Well, I was down the stairs by the front gate. They were hassling this kid with an EV backpack. That is quite the news. Are they still to be found out there? I actually crow flexed on them and ran them off. You don't say. Of course, it's a fine thing to try to help a fellow student, Miss Crow, but you might wish to show a bit of restraint as you find your feet here at the academy. Mr. Mon, do remember, the school staff is here to resolve any such troubles. Uh, right. Yes, sir, Director. A kid with an Eevee backpack, you say? I suppose that might have been Miss Penny. I'm relieved to hear she's come to class, at least. Ah, uh, and Mr. Mona, if you'd be so good, do report to Mr. Jacques about the Team Star business. As your homeroom teacher, he should be kept appraised of all such going-ons. You got it, sir. With time, you better hurry along. Classes will be starting soon. We're in class 1A, Crow. Come on, I'll show you the way. All right, let's see if uh, this uh, screen still goes at, like, two frames per year. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at those kids kicking. Good morning, Mr. Jacques! You can tell who's background character. Hello, hello, everyone! We have some exciting news this morning. Who wants to hear it? Oh, me! I want to hear the news! Suppose I should have told you sooner, but we have a new little friend joining our happy homeroom as of today. I wonder what they'll be like. Alright, you can come on in. Could I trouble you for a few words to introduce yourself? Sure. I'm Crow. Hear that? She's super friendly and fun. Looks like everyone's eager to get to know you, Crow. Alright then, who wants to be the first to ask our friend a new question? Me! What's your favorite thing about Pokemon? I like everything about Pokemon. Anyone else have friends? Me! I have a question. You went to all the trouble of rolling here, so spill, Crow. What do you hope to get out of it? You must have some kind of dream, right? Ah, I want to be a strong trainer. You will be. Oh, I just know it. You and me, we're going to get so strong battling together. Oh. Thank you for telling us about yourself. I am Jacques, and I teach biology. And there's your seat. All right, you ragamuffins. Be nice and friendly to our new classmate. We will, Mr. Jacques. Dun, 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 dun. Get to know the Academy campus by exploring. Yeah. La Primera. <clears throat> Very well, Champion Nimona. I trust you to handle this in my stead. Sure thing, you can count on me. In fact, I bet this is going to be fun. Glad to hear it. Good day, then. Oh, pardon me. Oh, Crow, hey! Who was that? Piqued your interest, huh? That lady is, well, they call her La Primera. She's strong. She can do pretty much anything. She's got cool practically coming out of her ears. She's basically everything I want to be, or that any Pokemon trainer would want to be, really. Oh, which reminds me, remember in Homer when I asked you what your dream is? Uh, since your heart's already sounded on becoming a really strong trainer, I've got an idea for you. You should try to reach champion rank like me. Okay. Oh, wow. Hang on, though. I've got a whole spiel I want to give you. Here goes. The trainers who reach champion rank are the ones who raise their Pokemon really strong. They're pro-tier battlers. Their moves keep crowds absolutely on the edge of their seats. 
You have to prove yourself to the Pokemon League to officially get the title of champion. And to do that, you have to do more than just take classes here. You've got to take on eight Pokemon gyms and win so you can collect their gym badges. Once you've done all that, all that's left is a special test. The champion assessment. And once you pass that, then at long last, you'll be a champion. It's every Pokemon trainer's dream, the coolest title anyone could ever hope to get. Not to brag or anything. I reached champion rank during our last treasure hunt, you know. Oh, the treasure hunt is a special independent study thing we got here. Should happen soon. Our last one started not long after the beginning of the school year. It's great, you get to leave school to go have an adventure and learn however you want. Guess you could say my journey to becoming a champion was the treasure I found. Maybe? I don't know yet if that's the answer I'm looking for. Anyway, I got a feeling I'd be able to get even stronger if you and I were both working at it. Let me go ahead and save the gym's locations in your map app in case you decide to, uh, you know, go for it. <laughs> Normal water, bug, psychic, grass, electric, ice, ghost. Of all the gyms, the ones we're going to have trouble are Levincia and Glaciado. Artisan will be very easy. Uh, Alfonada, very easy. Cortando, very easy. Cascarafa, very easy. Medali, very easy. And Montenevera, very easy. It's going to be a bit of a challenge to take care of the electric and ice, but I think I can do it. Give it some thought. Now where are you going to go? Uh, the cafeteria. <laughs> oh hey, so we meet again. You remember me, right? Uh, from the lighthouse. Yeah, exactly. That's my little know-it-all buddy. Got a mind like a seal trap, eh? No need to tell me your name. Crow, right? Whole school seems to be talking about you. The new kid who showed up with the president of the student council. I normally wouldn't even bother showing up for class, but I came all the way to school today just to talk with you. Our new celebrity. You've got to help me out so I can finally make my dream a reality. Happy to help? What kind of little maniac says yes to something without even knowing what? Me! Well, this might come as a surprise, but the fact is, I'm all about that picnic life. The great outdoors, the perfectly prepared sandwiches, all of it. Not half bad at cooking either, I can tell you. Right. Now I'm researching new recipes that'll help Pokemon feel better. Real health food stuff. I found this book the other day, and it had a section about these Herba Mystica things. Basically, there's some kind of special herbs that heal up any Pokemon as soon as it eats them. Now there are a total of five different types of Myst Herba Mystica based on what I read. Just taking a little lick of them once they've been pow powdered will get your blood flowing, provide nutrients, prevent aging, and it'll even boost the immune system. These herbs seem like they're the real deal. Only found here in Paldea and rare to boot. But this book says they're all guarded by Titan Pokemon. Meaning that it's going to be pretty tough to grab even a few sprigs. Because see, Titans are... Well, I think they've got to be things like this. really want to grab those herbs for myself, but I'm not very good at Pokemon battles. Don't have any friends with strong Pokemon to lend me a hand either. And I'd never hear the end of it if I went crawling to that student council girl. But here you waltz up. You've got to help me out with this. You'd be perfect. Yeah. Nope. Wait. I don't need an answer yet. I'll just register the places where it seems Titans can be found into your map. Alright. And of these... The only one we'll probably have difficulty with would be uh, Open Sky Titan until we get our uh, cheerleader higher. Uh, and then the False Dragon Titan will probably be the hardest one for us, but that's also one of the last ones we'll do. Ba, 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 da, ba, bo, bom. Let it stew a bit, and then we can get more details later. In the meantime, take this. It's a little gift. Bum, 
bum bum Give the idea some serious thought, please! Roto to to to! This is Crow, correct? I hacked your smartphone so I could talk to you. Hope you don't mind. Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? My name's Cassiopeia, but never mind that. It's you I want to talk about. I hear you're a trainer with serious potential. If that description is accurate, there's something I'd like to ask of you. Tell me, Crow. You know about Team Star, right? Yes. Great, I appreciate you being up front here. Team Star is a group of troublemakers formed by some academy students a while back. They cause headaches for the school and try to bring other students down to their level. And I refuse to sit idly by and let them get away with it. So I've come up with a plan to bring down Team Star and force them to disband for good. I call it Operation Starfall. But I'll need allies to carry out this operation. And I'd like you to be one of them. Okay. No need to reply right this second. We can discuss the details some other time. Till then, I'll leave you to it. Goodbye. Ah, Miss Crow. Please do try to keep your voice down if you're making calls within the school. Ah, of course, sir. You don't want anyone else overhearing any personal information, after all. Honestly, there are so many things we need to be careful around in this day and age. On you go, then, young lady. Team Star, you say? Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Dong, ding. <laughs> Calling Miss Crow to the director's office, please. Once again, Miss Crow to the director's office, please. Dong. Ba -da 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 -ba -da all right, so if you never realized, this book right here has always been here. It's the Scarlet Book. But of most interest is this, the imagined Pokemon. It shows a drawing of a fantastical Pokemon envisioned by a sketch artist. See, uh, they were teasing something they were releasing, which they released a little bit ago. Which, this one shows this, uh, and uh, Violet has its other version. But basically, this is, uh, a sketch of what Wake Walker is. And the other one is Iron Leaves. But, I mean, I think it's interesting that they already had that. And I'm curious how other parts of that are going to show up in the DLC that we will eventually be having. But, um... <laughs> yeah. Uh, as you can see, we're going to... We still have a lot to be uh, getting ready. We're probably not going to be ready to take on the next gym yet. Maybe we will. I don't know. I'm going to have to actually look up the levels for everybody. Because, well... <laughs> it's pretty dangerous now, don't you think? <laughs> uh, because right now we only have these six. We don't have any backups yet. I mean, we've got our shiny. But he doesn't count. Speaking of, I'm just gonna grab you and move you down here, sir. Because you aren't gonna be used. I'm gonna trade you into my game later. But, um, yeah. This is a great place for us to end this off for today. So, anyway... Thank you, everybody, for watching. Oh, I can't take a picture. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. And uh, until the next time, everybody, stay funky, people.